Hi everyone, uh, Shell here, Shell's Nails. Um, today I have a little package arrive doo, 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 from Credu. Lovely packaging, all the bonniest stars on it. So this is a nail tips and glue gel set. Soak off UV and LED cured. Create your own beauty style. What else does it say? It has a portable lamp. has a portable lamp, it has the nail glue, prep and dehydrator, five, 500 tips, Ooh. nail tip clips, two, and nail files. And then it's got all these bits and bobs on the bottom. So 24 months, keep away, keep away from children. That is their social media. Let me just show you that. Thank you. And then on the back, it has your sort of portions, storage, you know, keep it out direct sunlight, and then all of your ingredients on the bottom there. So I'll leave that for a second in case anyone wants to screenshot it. Ka ching There we go. So let's open it up and have a little look. I want to thank Pridu. Um, I do have a discount code um, for Amazon. There's a link in the description box for the Amazon store and for this exact product. And there is a few linked on my Amazon storefront as well. Um, so yeah. So let's have a look. Ooh, look. Oh. Very nice. So they're like almond shaped tips. Cool. So, you know, not everybody likes big long nails, so that's cool. Then we have, obviously, instructions. So, we've got application. Application, so it tells you how to prep your nails as well. Mm, yep. Yeah. Cool. Does it open? Oh, opens up a bit more. It's got everything you need to know on there. So there you go, it's your application guide. So first off we'll have one of these. Oh this is a this is a nice little lamp. Oh it's pink on the top, it matches mine really. So you've got a little button in there. You've got your three LED lights. So yeah, and you've got your little USB socket in the back there. So that goes in there like that. And then you plug this into your you know, if you've got a plug, um, most, most people have these nowadays, don't they, in the houses. In fact, I've got more plugs that look like that than anything else. Just move that to one side. And we'll have a look at the light. So we just unravel that. Pop it in the right way. And then, so you're looking for one of these. So you basically plug that into there and then plug that into your socket and there you go that's oh that's quite a strong one that look at that oh that's good so yeah so you can actually hold your nail you can press it on if you want or you can just press it on ready and but we'll do that in a second. So that is the lamp. What else have we got? I can't get in it. <laughs> That's what happens when you've got long nails. So we've got super, super, what am I talking about? Credio Nail Prep Dehydrator. And then we have the nail glue. So that is UV. It's on the top as well. UV cured. I don't want to break the packaging because it looks nice. Oh, we've got a file. Oh, that's a nice file. So that's yeah, probably a 180. That's probably a 100. Cool. That's nice. What else have we got? And we've got the nail clips. If I can get them out. 
so you can clip them like that and then put them in the lamp we'll try it i don't i don't use them but you know um if you're new and you're you're not sure so that is box empty so let's have a little look and see so that's everything that you get and your little light so that's cool that's a little goodies so what we'll uh, i think what we'll have to do is we'll find get some nail beds on tipsy and we'll have a little play right so we've got tipsy ready so i've just put some of these tips in back to front i'll show you to use as nail beds there we are so i'll just shove it in that way using one of your practice hand as nail beds anyway so um first of all you're going to take your file and what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to season it so you're going to run another file along the edges and that takes all the sharp edges off just a quick run along every edge otherwise you'll take your cuticles off which well you'll cut yourself don't forget the edges And then there's no sharp edges see right so you're going to take not the rough side the gentle side and you're going to gently buff your nails and you're going to push the cuticles back if you've got any access you just need to snip them off so yeah you can just do this you can do this with a buffer you can use this one it's a 180 so just be careful not the sides and then obviously you need to get your cuticles off. Get them all done. Just take your time. I'm just giving them a quick go off because it's tipsy. She doesn't mind if they fall off tomorrow. They won't even be on tomorrow. <laughs> Nail bed's coming out. So I'll get all this dead skin off here. That's on your cuticles, that's the important bit because nothing will add here to your nail if that dead skin is still there. So there we are. If you need to shape them up, shape them up, whatever you need to do. Then you need to take a lint-free wipe, some IPA, isopropyl alcohol or swipe, whatever it is you have, and clean your cuticles. Get all the dust off. Squeaky squeak, that's what you want. Squeaky squeak. There we are. And that's your prep done. So then you are going to take your nail prep dehydrator. And you are going to dehydrate the nail. This will get rid of any of the oils or anything like that's left on the nail. It dries them out. Don't need tons, just a little bit on your brush. Yeah, that's then done. And then we are going to take our tips. So I've got mine here. We'll start with the pinky. Now these are pre-etched. So this bit is etched for you. So if it if you buy them and they're not etched, you'll have to etch them yourself, or you can use primer. Uh, not primer, um, yeah, primer, which is, you know, good to use. But you don't need to do that with these ones because they're already done for you. So you're going to take your nail glue. Just brush them back a little bit. And you don't want too much. And just put it at the back of the nail. Not too much, like I say. And you are going to you are going to put it on the nail and slowly just push it up a little bit and then push down and you'll see the nail glue will go right to the end of your tip. I don't know if I'll be able to get the clip on to be honest. 
awesome. And then pop your nail in the lamp, like so. Now, I only use my little lamp to flash cure, so I normally do, I don't know, I mean, this will stay on for a minute, but I normally just do a flash cure, so I know it's stuck on. And then when they're all on, I put, a, put them in the big lamp for a full cure, just in case. That should be long enough. See. And there you go, one nail. Awesome. Do another one. So the next size. So that worked really well with the uh, the clip. I've never used a clip before, so no, these these aren't they're not they're not too bad. They're not too tight, so that's maybe why. So again, take your nail glue. Pop it in the end. You don't want too much. You just want it to spread to the end of the nail, that's all. And then just a little bit away from your cuticle, start to press it down. And then push it back a little bit towards your cuticle. So it's pressed all the way down. And then get your clip on. Come on. Have I got it the wrong way around? Probably. Is that it? That's it. There we go. A bit fiddly, but you get the idea. And then stick her in the lamp. And these are obviously clear for a reason. Oh, they, I've got it the wrong way around. Right, so that's the curved side. And that's the flat side. So you want the curved side on your nail, like that. That's better, yeah. I'll do that on the next one. We'll see. That should do it. So there we are. That's that one on. A little bit of a gap there, but that's fine. You're just going to file around there anyway. Let's try one more. Let me get it right this time. Pull Tipsy's finger up a bit. So I've got some room for the clip. Again, you do get used to how much gel you need as you get as you you know as you practice. So gently push it down till it goes to the end. on and in the lamp she goes where she ends up nobody knows so the last one What is about this clip? I can't pick it up and clip it. There we are. Okie dokie. That is those on. So I'll move the lamp out the way. Clip lid on that because you know what I'm like. So next, all you want to do is take your file. I would just use the 180 side, and you just want to if you if you're happy with the shape, just that's fine. Or you can snip the ends off. You can make them like a coffin ballerina sort of style. Just check the sides, and then. What I normally do is I normally file along around this area just to sort of 
blend it in a bit. So, and then when you've done your, done your bit, you just give it a clean. And that just blends them in. There's no point in me doing that because Tipsy doesn't really care. So, um, a base coat. And don't worry as well, when you when you wipe your tips over, they do go cloudy, so don't worry. I'll, I'll do them all and then you'll be able to see, just in case you think you've done something wrong. Okay, they just go, they go cloudy. As soon as you put the base coat on, they go back to normal. Don't need a lot of base coat, just a thin layer. You can also decorate these underneath before you actually touch them if you like, like the lazy girl method. There we go. Give that a full cure. I've just we've got some polish. This is C117. I'll leave the link for the, the set for these down below. This is really, really pale blue. But I'm going to put a couple of coats on. Neat. Right, so I've got a second coat on, and then we'll have this. It's like a, like a pearlescent. This is part of the set. So what you do is you just, you just dab it on. We'll clean the brush off when we're done before you put it back in. So the first layer is cured, the second layer isn't. And then you want to take your dotting tool and give it a swirl. Any which way you like. It just creates like a cool little pattern. Doesn't have to be any particular. Oh, it needs a bit more on. And it just sort of marbles into it because you've left that second layer white, wet. Isn't that pretty? Right, we'll get these nuked, get some top coat on, and then we'll have a look at them. Right, so there we go. That is those nails. I mean, how pretty are they? 
just thought I'd show you. You could do with buffing. I know it's exactly flat. When you when you wriggle, you know, wiggle that in, it gets a bit lumpy bumpy. So I should have buffed them really, but I didn't. But hey ho. So that is your little lamp. You get all your tips. 500 tips you get as well. You get your nail file. You get your clips, which I've never used before, but they work perfectly. And I'll tell you what I've found. I've used lots of these kits, obviously, because my nails are full cover. I can't file and stuff anymore. Um, but this nail glue is the perfect consistency. It didn't squeeze out. As long as you don't put too much on, you'll be fine. Just put a little bit on. If there's not enough in, you can take it off, clean it, and do it again. But yeah, it's a nice consistency, that. Some of them are a little bit runny, and it squirts out the sides. So I had a little, I don't know if you noticed, but I had a little clean-up brush handy. You know, just... You can clean up around the edges, but I didn't need it because it was it was spot on. So it just remains for me to say thank you, Creed You, for sending me this kit to share. I think this is a perfect. They're lovely little size tips. Not everybody has good big long nails, so I think that's a perfect size. Like I say, you can you can straighten the sides, you can cut the tips off. Yeah, so that's a lovely. So thank you, Creed You, for letting me share this with everybody. I really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to pop over and follow them on Instagram, etc. As well, I'll leave all the details down below. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ding, ling, ling. You'll never miss an upload. And I'll see you, lovely lot, in the next one. Bye, bye.